Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to unlock your Honor um, 6X. Uh, if you don't know the pattern, pin or password, and also if you don't know the Google credentials, because this video not only will, only will show you how to hard reset your phone to get rid of the pattern, pin or password, but also how to do an FRP bypass, which means that it will skip the Google verification because after resetting your phone, there will be a Google verification, which will ask you for um, the Google credentials that were previously logged in on the phone. But if you don't have them, you can do an FRP bypass, which I'll be showing you here, and that will for sure help you. So let's begin. As you can see on the phone, once I try to unlock it, I don't know the pattern and I can't unlock it, which means that I'll need to first reset it. And before we begin, make sure that your phone is charged to at least 60%, but I honestly would recommend getting it charged to 100. Now, you'll need a computer. You can see right here, I have a computer screen because I'll also be needing that for the process, for the later process, the FRP unlock. Now it'll be just a reset. Um, and also um, internet access, of course. So let's begin by pressing and holding on the power button until the device powers off. I mean, just press and hold and click on power off and click on power off again, then it'll power off. Now wait some moment, about 15 seconds, and begin by pressing and holding two buttons at once, power and volume up. Press and hold them until you go to EMUI screen. So that will take a moment. This is the recovery mode, but I called it EMUI because that's what shows on the screen. So it's like easy to recognize it that way. Just hold and hold until you're here. Now go to Wipe Data Factory Reset. You can use the volume buttons to go up or down the menu and then click on the power button to approve. Wipe Data Factory Reset. Go down to Wipe Data Factory Reset and go down again uh, to Wipe Data and Factory Reset. Now uh, it is factory resetting. During that process, we can go to our website, our hardreset.info website. That website contains all the files that you will need for your, um, for your process. And we are sharing them all for free. So I think it's worth it. Just go to hardreset.info, then go to download, and now find, uh, first of all, find Huawei P20. P20. I know this phone isn't Huawei P20, but I just uh, it just happens that these drivers work. These have been tested by our team and it all works. Um, you can just download it because it basically is like Huawei and Honor is the same factory basically. So you can click on download, then click on download again. If there's any ad that shows up, just close it and try again. Um, you can see it downloads. Now I'll need to get another thing. We can stay in the hard reset info website. Let's search for ADB. Now find mini ADB and fast boot with drivers. Click on download and click on download here. And now let's go to the last thing. We need to wait until Cloudflare verifies I'm a human. And search for FRP unlocker because that will be needed for the FRP unlocked unlock as well. Get all of these uh, three things. Now go to the file explorer, most probably downloads or whatever you download it to. You can see I have these three things here and they are in archives. 
which means to unpack them, you will need a program like WinRAR. And WinRAR is, I think, the best one. You can get it. I, I, I won't show you the whole process of getting WinRAR. It's very simple. Just like download it from winrar.com with a dash in between Win and RAR. And uh, you'll just basically have it. And then you'll be able to right click on, um, on the first file, select WinRAR, extract to, and repeat that with the other ones. Now you can see I have these three. First, let's go to the Huawei, go to Huawei here and find driver setup. Click on it twice and it'll do something in the background. Then um, it'll tell you that it's done and it's it. Also, it's worth uh, instead of clicking twice, I think it's better to right click on it and click on run as administrator. Uh, because it has a higher chance of working. Now go to Android Fastboot, uh, go to Android Fastboot, there will be free files, download, uh, install them all. I'll show you only this one because it's a bit harder to install. These like .msi files that you can see to here, mm, they are like, just clicking on next and I already have them installed so I don't feel like doing it. Here uh, in this like with the Android icon file, you'll need to just It'll open this blue window, type in Ye Y on your keyboard and click on enter. Then type, on, type in Y, enter, and Y and enter. And you can see it's done. Uh, and why free files? Because we've tested it and uh, based on our experience, it works the best if you have all the free files because it that way all, always works. Now, the last thing that we'll need to do is just open the FRP unlock. Just open that app. This is the app created by us. I'll just leave it open here because I won't need it now. Um, but I just want to have it enabled and leave it enabled until you finish the whole process. Um, okay, so now we have the phone. Uh, you can see it was reset. I can go up to reboot system now and click on the power button to approve and wait until it reboots, which also will take a moment. Okay, so now we are here. And don't worry if it takes a long time, it is very normal for it to take a long time. And all you need to do here uh, is first of all select English language make sure it's English because otherwise it may not work uh, we've tested it on English and uh, it was the best uh, and then click on skip accept the uh, terms and click on next then connect to a Wi-Fi network you can see when I try to click on skip it says that I need to uh, connect to Wi-Fi network anyway because it was reset the way that it was. I'll just type in the password to my Wi-Fi network. Let's connect to it then click on next. And now mm, we'll need to wait a moment and it'll start loading. It may take a while until it loads because it has to load uh, the Google account verification, the one that we don't know credentials for. So um, we'll just need to wait. And it also may take a moment. You already might have noticed that this process requires quite some patience, but it's already done actually. And here, once you're here, just go back and go back again and again and again and again until you're on the main screen. Now go to emergency call and type in the secret code asterisk pound asterisk pound two six four is two eight four six sorry uh, it's asterisk pound asterisk pound two eight four six five seven nine pound asterisk pound asterisk it opens the project menu Go to background settings. First, go to USB port settings. Make sure it's set to Google mode. Click on close. 
then go to LOG settings and make sure it's set to AP log only and close it. Now go back, go back, cancel, then restart the phone by pressing and holding on the power button, then clicking on restart, touch to restart again and wait a moment. Now you may want to get ready your uh, micro USB cable that you're plugging to your phone and to your computer. And there is a warning for me. Not all cables are built equally and some cables, even though they are micro USB, they won't transfer data. Some are only for charging, unfortunately. So we'll need to um, go to device manager on our computer. You can just search for it by searching here for device manager, right? Until you find this. Find ports, ports com and LPT. And here, if our cable transfers data and it's, if, it's, if all the steps were done correctly as well, then once you plug in the cable, you'll have the control switch to DIAC port, fake ACM interface, whatever, like control switch you'll see here. And this is the most important part. If you see it, then it was all recognized correctly. If you don't see it, try a different cable, a different computer, uh, try updating the USB drivers on your computer in the settings in Windows Update or do something like maybe do the whole process again unfortunately and we can see no device detected still because we didn't have a alert here which we should have gotten so let's go to emergency call again and type that secret code in again asterisk pound asterisk pound two eight four six five seven nine pound asterisk pound asterisk background settings usb port settings google mode close LOG settings, AP log, close. Go back, go back, cancel, then restart the phone again. You can see this has changed here. If it has, then it's great. Press and hold on the power button, restart, restart again, and wait until it restarts again. Now this time I'm expecting an alert at the bottom that will ask me whether I agree to ADB, um, which is like ADB, some sort of communication between my computer and the phone. So uh, this communication is needed for our FRP heart unlocker to work. Yeah, okay. Click on always allow from this computer. You can see it has disappeared. If it has, then try doing it again or unplugging and replugging in the cable. I'll actually try that to make sure that it's all correct. Okay, always allow from this computer, then okay. Now in our app, in our FRP Harden Locker, you should see everything like detected, modal version and IMEI. If that's true, click on unlock. And now wait, don't touch your phone, make sure that it's connected all the time. Micro USB cables often disconnect by themselves, so you can just look at the battery in the top. If it's charging, then it's connected all the time. Now it says success. Now, once it says success on your phone, you should see nothing has changed, but when you unplug the cable, then press and hold on the power button and click on restart. Click on restart again. Wait a moment until it restarts, until it really restarts, and uh, we'll see what's then. Okay, after a restart, we are in the home screen. Uh, so, um, it's basically 
done. Uh, if you didn't go to the home screen after restart, then most probably it's because uh, you've either not unplugged the cable or you've clicked on anything after the app showed success before the restart you like went further with the steps in the setup and that will just make you need to simply plug in the cable again click on uh, go to the app our our uh, frp unlocker app and unlock again simply and uh, then you'll be able to uh, be here now what i would recommend at the end is going to settings and resetting your phone through the settings just to bypass any like further problems there are no problems guaranteed but to make extra sure that your phone won't get locked after some time uh, just go to the settings then go to advanced settings go to backup and reset then go to factory data reset reset phone reset phone and that Let's wait until it resets. Okay, let's click on that again. Uh, when it resets the phone, you'll be able to set it up uh, like a new device without any FRP locks. I hope that this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one.